incantation and filtration. So for this module, you will need a sample of muddy water, some beakers or glasses, tea strainer, a piece of cloth and filter paper. So first to do this process, you need to take your sample of muddy water and mix it well. And let it remain undisturbed for around 30 minutes. Now I have let it remain undisturbed for around 30 minutes. Now as you see there is some mud that is settled down. So when we let it settle down this process is called sedimentation. And the mud which is settled down is called sedimentate. And now next step is to uh, carefully pour this like this and now this water is called decantate and the process which we did now is called decantation decantation is when we pour the sedimentate into another glass or beaker. So now as you see the water is not complete, completely clean. So now we use a tea strainer. And while we do this, this process is called filtration. As you see in the tea strainer, there are some little particles of mud, but we still won't have get clean water. Now we we'll use a piece of cloth. This process is called filtration. Now, do we get clean water from by pouring it from a cloth? No. So now we we'll use a filter paper. Now using a filter paper, carefully pour. This process is also called filtration. After you use filter paper, now you see we have got much cleaner water and this process is also used in rains in villages. It is used because when we collect rain water, the water is a bit muddy. So to remove the mud from the water, we use this process. Hope you understand the process of sedimentation, decantation and filtration. I'll soon come up with new, fun and interesting science projects. So, if you want to receive more videos, click the subscribe button, thumbs up and share it to your friends. Thank you. Bye.